and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Monasters. This is your daily announcements for Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. I'm Scott. And I'm Keandre. Want a job that pays above minimum wage? Then a summer job at Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp could be for you. If you will be 18 by June 1st, check the announcements page for details. Everyone is invited to have a great Friday night at Shores Illuminated from 8 to 9.30 in the front of the high school around to the east lot. Snacks, music, and art. Participate in Chalk the Walk, all ages. Get your photos taken with a fantastic Mona Shores backdrop. Walk an illuminated path to view an amazing display of art projected on five walls outside of Shores. Friday is our Pride Assemblies. We ask that you show your sailor pride by wearing blue, blue and white or sailor gear. You will be entered into a drawing for prizes throughout the morning for wearing our school colors with pride. Congratulations to the following BPA members for placing in the top 10 at Nationals. Taylor Quick, 5th in Legal Office Procedures. Nicole Hernandez, 8th in Business Meeting Concepts. Broadcast News Team took 8th consistent of Cam Cipherline, Evan Fisher, and Brady Whalen. Do you like to draw? Do you have a pet? Join Corinne Roberts on Thursday for Draw Your Pet. This is a drawing class for the whole family. Use basic shapes and sketch lines to create your favorite furry friends. No prior drawing experience is necessary. All you need is a paper, a pencil, and an eraser. Register for the Zoom meeting at madl.org. If you believe that you have misplaced any personal belongings on school property, please come to the front office and check out Lost and Found. On May 11, 1934, a massive storm sends millions of tons of topsoil flying from across the parched Great Plains region of the United States as far as east as New York, Boston, and Atlanta. Today's word of the day is importunate. Troublesome, urgent, overly persistent in request or demand. This is Sailor Country. We do everything with pride. The JV girls soccer team played a tough game against Spring Lake, winning 2-1. to one. Mallory Hostin and Kelsey Benedict scored, both assisted by Emma Anderson. The team will play Saturday at home against Grand Haven. Varsity soccer lost 1-0 in non-conference action. The Sailors failed to find any kind of rhythm in the game and conceded a goal in the second half with 20 minutes to play. The team moves to 10-3-1 on the season and 7-0 in the conference. JV Lacrosse defeated Vicksburg 7-6 on Saturday on the back of the goalie Matt Tallman. JV improves to 4-5-1 and in the first year of the program. Varsity Lacrosse lost to Lowell 13-12 in the Tier 3 Conference Finals Friday night, but rebounded to beat Grand Haven 10-9 in overtime. Leading scorers were Jake Nana, Landon Taylor, J.J. Booz, Eric Connor, and Jack Reelman. Parker Hayward had 21 saves for the weekend. Varsity Softball swept Forest Hill Central on Friday. In Game 1, the Sailors defeated the Rangers 8-6. Kristen Hillen picked up the win on the mound. Hillen, Alexis Brayton, Maggie McCarthy, Maddie Mettler, and Brooklyn Graham all had multiple hits. The Sailors kept going offensively in game two, tallying 17 hits and a 15-5 victory. Macy Spaniola picked up the win in the circle while Brooklyn Graham led the offense. Going four for five at the plate, Hannah Gagan, Mettler, Brayton, and McCarthy again had multiple hits. Today in sports, varsity baseball and softball travel to Wyoming for doubleheaders. JV baseball hosts Wyoming with a doubleheader. Boy lacrosse hosts South Christian. JV tennis travels to Coopersville. And varsity tennis hosts Coopersville and the mighty Union Red Hawks. It's a high of 54 and a low of 37. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a great Tuesday. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side.